Tell me, do we get what we deserve? Oh, we get what we deserve. And where down we go? Oh, 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 where down we go? Oh, 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 been empty about five years. The woman don't give a shit about it. She lives in Texas. If she ever sells it, she's got to get half of it to her ex-husband. Hey, excuse me, sir. Quick question, man. I'm an investor uh, looking to buy some properties, and I noticed that house at the very end is empty. I was just wondering if anybody knew who the owners were. I have chance. no idea anything with that house. Okay. It's been, it looks like it's been vacant for, oh, yeah. for a long, long time. Yeah, it was run over pretty good. Yeah, yeah. All right. 
nobody there. I don't see anybody going in and out or anything like that. I paid attention. Okay, cool. Not down there. All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank no you. problem. Hey, sir. Excuse me. I have a question about the house over here. Sorry to bother you, man. My name is Tommy. I'm a, I'm a local investor in the area here. All right, well, I guess I keep searching. Appreciate it, man. Okay, thanks. All right, so here's that house. We're gonna... The guy across the street said that she... That lady who owns it probably would not sell it because I guess she has to give 50% of the profit to the... to her ex husband so it's one of those divorce situations um but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and put a business card right in here or somewhere put one there and i'm gonna put another one inside here don't put business cards or anything in the mailboxes that is illegal Put anything in the mailbox, it's gonna be a problem. That's a big spot over, but put it in here. Um, so, in case that she does want to sell, we will be able to get in contact with us. And I think I'll put one on this door too. Man, let's have a blessed day. Let's work harder than we did work, work yesterday. Keep it pushing. Make sure you get your body right, get your mind right. Uh, focus on something today that is going to make you 10% better. Whether it's an audio book, whether it's uh, you getting up and, and doing something extra, going to the gym, whether it's spending more time, 10% more time with your family. Focus on doing something today that's only going to get you 10%. I'm not asking for 50. I'm not asking for 110. Just 10% better. And you'll be amazed with that 10% today, 10% tomorrow, 10% the next day will eventually add up by the end of the week, end of the month, end of the year. You guys have a great day. Let's get it. Attack the day. What's up, everybody, man? Um, I just had this flashback of a, of a... I was in a real estate meeting with an investor who had about 54 or 56 properties um, rental properties that he owned and uh, managed and uh, he was telling the story about his wife his wife wanted a new car a new Cadillac a Cadillac SUV and it was gonna run him a little over five hundred dollars a month to get this car and a car payment and so he said well we're not gonna get the car right now we're gonna buy a house and she said well I want a car he said no we're gonna buy a house and so what he did is he bought a house a rental property at the right price and in order to get the car, he used that rental property, put tenants in it. Those tenants paid for his wife's car note. And now they're basically driving in a brand new Cadillac SUV that someone else is paying for. And once the Cadillac is paid for, guess what? That money goes all back into his pocket. So here's what I want to impress upon you. We have to start thinking differently. We have to start attacking the problems from a different angle. And I realized by osmosis, just by being around people that are like that, I realized that I did the same exact thing. These sunglasses that I'm wearing, now they were only about $100 for the sunglasses. I don't really spend that much money on sunglasses, but I bought a house in order to buy some sunglasses. I bought a house, I put a tenant in it, and one month's rent, I took a portion of that rent, paid what I was supposed to pay to make sure the house is running right, uh, make sure I'm paying for my property management fees, Make sure that I'm putting some money away for CapEx. Make sure I'm putting some money for repairs and taxes. And the leftover, I took some of that leftover, put it in savings. The other, other leftover, I bought these sunglasses. So I bought a house for a pair of Ray-Bans. Think about it. What's up, everybody? All right, so uh, we're back at the house we got for four grand. Uh, we're going to be the first time getting into the garage, um, the garage apartment. Uh, so we got to cut the locks, got the tools of the trade right there. And um, so we're going to go ahead and cut the locks. So you're going to see it for the first time with me. Um, like I said, we got the house already for four grand, but I did not see this portion. 
because I couldn't get in there because it was padlocked. So let's go. Okay, definitely having some roof issues. Looks like they tried to start doing that, but you probably want to fix your roof issues before you put sheetrock on the ceiling, or flooring or anything else. Looks like we're having a little fun in here. You guys want peppers? You can come pick some up. So, uh, this is what we bought. We started to run electrical. We're gonna need to find out exactly where that leak is coming from. It's probably gonna need to get re-roofed. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. It's $4,000 for, well, that'll do it. Um, $4,000 for the property. So, can't, can't complain too much for both properties. This one, the garage below it, and, uh, and yeah, the, uh, there was a fire here. Ah, so here was this is probably where they had a little stove or something. Something caught on fire here. We have to get that shored up too. Okay. All right, everybody. I'm walking through this apartment here. Um, this is the apartment above the the uh, garage that's attached to the house that we bought for four thousand dollars. So I want you to think about how much you how much do you think it would cost to get this in rental shape. Uh, we have some problems over here with the truss. Looks like there was a, a, a fire here or something like that on the floor. Um, so we got to replace that. We have some standing water over here, which lets me know we have a roof issue. Um, got some cleanup. That's my little friend over there. I know he's dead. But he's a little, you know, a little squirrel that's left that we gotta get, get get that out of there. Looks like they started on electrical, did not finish it. Um, it's about 600 square feet. It'll be a one bedroom, one bath apartment. It'll rent in the area for about 350 to 400 dollars a month. Like I said, it came with the house that we got for 4,000. All right. So, what do you think it would cost to renovate this? Give me a dollar figure down below. Let's see what you think it'll cost to get this renovated in Macon, Georgia. Let me know. All right, guys, so um, we're going to do um, kind of a walkthrough of the house that I haven't really decided if I'm going to rent it uh, or maybe I'll sell it um, just to kind of get a, a quick little hit off of it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. It really won't be a full retail uh, type of a house because it was really designed really. I was thinking about doing a rental, but, you know, things change. Stuff happens in people's lives and you got to kind of make some moves, make some adjustments. And sometimes you can't be so stuck in your ways that you can't you can't adjust to what's currently happening. So I don't know. I might end up doing it might be almost kind of like a wholesale type of a deal um, where it's kind of a mix between a wholesale and a retail where I do a little bit of renovations in it. Don't sink too much money into it um, and then go ahead and, 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 and sell it to another user or another buyer that maybe wants to live in it. It has something that's completely safe and livable, but at the same time might want to still do some upgrades to it. We'll see. Um, but uh, we're going to do a walkthrough of that so you can see what that looks like. And uh, yeah, and that's gonna probably going to end it up for this uh, this week, man. So well, we'll, we'll go from there. All right. Peace. <laughs>
everybody. What is going on? Uh, this is Memorial Day. Um, a lot of rain, uh, overcast, overcast clouds, and there's a couple people out there in the pool. Somebody out there working out, but um, this is wrapping it up, man. Um, just once again, um, this video um, shows you the hard work, but man, nothing can grow, nothing can compare, nothing I can do can compare to the men and women that went out there and um, and. and signed on the line knowing that they were going into harm's way and um, didn't make it back home to their loved ones so this vlog is definitely dedicated to them in honor of Memorial Day it's not about the veterans I know we mix that up a lot but man Memorial Day uh, we need to really observe it pretty much every day just think of all those people that wish that they could have the opportunity that you have right now you guys stay safe take care and love you Oh, 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 oh,